Find your buoy? Very good. Now worry about the basics. How close can you get to the wind? Can you get around that buoy? And if not, maybe you have to do what? Uh, head down. <laughs> well, we want to go around it the same way we went before. Oh. Your mainsail's bluffing. Can you trim it in more? Trim it in fast and hard. Then see about the jib. Okay. Let go of the tail for a second. Really pulled in. Good. Go cleat it. And then see if you can get around the mark without tacking. You may not, but you do the best you can. Now focus not on the buoy, but on the sailing. Keep the jib filled, because if you try to pinch around the mark, you will not get around the mark. Where is our mark? Okay, head down, fill your jib, otherwise you will slide sideways and bump into the buoy. You need full speed. There you go. That jib's filled now. And we'll, st we'll still get around the buoy nicely. Good. And once it's even with the middle of the boat, you can head down, let your main out. All right. Okay, now look forward. Control the radio turn. Find the next buoy. Got a little wind shift there, I think. All right, but now that we've headed down a fair amount beyond the trim of the sails, got to do what with the sails? All right. Make sure you grip that mainsail. You didn't let the mainsail meaning a full amount. Let it out until it starts to luff. In fact, you know, just put, let out a lot because you have the jib in the way. Let the main out a lot because you can always trim it in later. Okay. Good. Now go do the jib. By letting out the main, you decrease the weather helm. Good. Now grab it again so it doesn't get out of control. And now go for your buoy. Good job. You have to grip it with the heel of your hand facing it, not your fingertips. Right. There you go. Cool. Next time, instead of sitting down there and parking yourself, just get as close as you need to to do it. Stand up, do it, and then come back and grab the tail. Okay. But, uh, good work. There, you have to take some shortcuts when you single hand. Because you are on all stations at the same time. So you can't park yourself too much at any one station. Now, come back to the windward side. Good. That's it. Off the motorboat wakes. Right in the middle of motorboat like, like that, not a good time to try to tack or jive or anything. You always wait till afterwards unless it's an emergency. Clear that main sheet. Go for the back. Mark it. Go. Away. Are you about to drive? Oh, you didn't catch that gentle drive there. Right, grab the tiller. So what did you forget to do there? I don't know. Okay. But you forgot to you forgot to prep the main for the drive. All right. Well, now, if you knew if. When you're more advanced, you could do that deliberately sometimes and know why you're going to get away from it, right. or with it. But this time you need to do it the normal way. Okay. Like, you know, let it out to head down, then pre-trim it, and then go. Okay. All right, good. But uh, you made a tighter turn than anyone else did. We're only like two boat lengths away from that bad boy. So the trade-off on the main benefited the turning radius. So that's, that's good. Now the wind picked up a little, right when you didn't need it. Right. So... You have to figure out how you're going to get your jib in. You have to balance the boat so it won't head up. So let this out. Right. 
and you play that till you're happy with it, then you can go trim your jib quickly. Very good. Trim, don't sit. You don't have time to sit. Good. Here, crank. It's all right. Next time, uh, don't cleat it until you're done with it. Now go back, grab the tiller, swing it. Good. A shortcut there is stay there and push it uh -huh. and get it started, then follow it. Okay. Good. You still managed it. Great. Now, stabilize your course and get your main in. Very good. And then you get the main in kind of parallel to the jib. Keep them in sync. Uh, I don't see the buoy anymore. Anyone see the buoy? Wow, congratulations. You're the first one to overstand it. You turned so rapidly around it that you had room to spare. Good job. All right. Believe it or not, you did great. Yay. I know you don't feel like you did great because I could see your expression, but no, you did fine. You could always do better when you're single-handing. I can't worry about that. You just have to say, did I get it done safely? Yeah, okay, fine. What else do I, I care about? Good. Good job. Now you can rest easy. Give that woman the drink or snack of her choice. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheesy poofs? There's your booty.